Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, today I'm going to make a shadow box for this album so I thought uh, I'd show you how I make it so uh, if you want to make one yourself um, first I can start with uh, these boxes from Tim Holtz it's the one who is um, I have to take the ruler the right way here. It's ten and three quarters by um, <laughs> should have measured this before. Eight and a half. Yeah. So this will be the base for it. So in this side we are going to make uh, the shadow box. And for the other side back here, it's going to be place for the album. So the thought, first uh, thought I had, it was to place another one on this for the outside to put the album in here. But that uh, <laughs> the album <laughs> became too bulky, so we have to create something from chipboard. So I show you a bit how I started here. I measured around here, one inch all around, so I can see where to glue. And then I also took a strip of chipboard here, so it is so it will fit inside, so it's not so loose when we glue it together. So we are going to start to glue this together. So we are taking some glue around all four sides and hopefully it will work <laughs> so we see you are seeing this while I'm trying to create it so we'll see so we are going to put this together here and try to measure it up where I could put the lines It's hard. Make sure it's straight. Maybe I have to take some more glue in later because I'm working a bit with this now. So maybe should I take one more strip of shipboard also here? the extra strip of uh, black chipboard. So we are start in the bottom here and then I've cut, uh, I've layered three chipboard uh, because that's the height of this, it's a really thick chipboard, this uh, box from Tim Holtz. So uh, I want to be it in the same height when I glue it together. And this measure 10 and 5 8 by three and a half and I also um, 
try to um, sand it a bit down so on these three ends here, not the back end. So we are going to do this on the bottom here. I'm going to take much glue on here so I'm sure it will last. We try to line it up like so. And I need a piece to go on here, so this will be straight here. So, take this a bit more inside here, I think. Like so. Let's see where I've sanded it. Here. And this is 10 and uh, quarter by two and three eighths. This is going to go down here. So, I think a bit more this way. And now I've made some sides here. And this is 8 by 3, 8 by 3 and a half. And this is going to go on the sides here. Take glue on the side here. And also some on the bottom here. We're going to paint this so it doesn't matter if there shows up some glue. where I've sanded it and it's there. Have to glue this well together. So so now it looks like this. going to glue on the other side. Take some glue here. And as you see I take a lot of glue on. <laughs> You can also secure it with some tape around here if you want to. But I think this will glue nice together. And uh, the top bottom is the same as that uh, uh, on the bottom here. <laughs> this one. So we are gluing, going to glue that on the top. So 
So hopefully this will fit now. Yes. So now we have created the box with a big enough so the album can go inside on this side like so inside here I won't take it in because I want to glue to to get some time to so and um, I also created a frame on the front here and this is um, show you the hole here. It's uh, 10 and 5 8 by 8 and 5 8. And then I took my ruler around, I think it was 5 8. Yes, and then I drew a line all around. And then I took my craft knife and cut out this frame. So this is going to go on the front here. I uh, won't be taking it on now because I want to paint it all first. And I'm not sure if I'm going to crackle paint inside or uh, just uh, leave it black. I'm going to paint it all black. But I will show you the hinges. And, um, I'm going to take them on this side. This is are the hinges from Graphic 45, like so. And if you see on this hinge, it doesn't fit. So I took my uh, what's that called? I'm going to get it and show you. This one, so I uh, uh, this can be open this side, but I want this side to show up, and I didn't want the hinges to go inside like so because then they won't show up. I want them as a decoration, and to get them fit, I just bend them like so when they. So now you see it fits. So that's just a little tip to how to use them or how to <laughs> get them in the right angle. And um, we are also going to have a roof on this um, box and it measures 12 by 7 and it's going to go on the top like so. And um, I also want to show you the other side here. Uh, sort of a sign on the top here. Looks like this. And then I take in two hinges. And I'm going to glue this on both sides. On, one on the back. I think I will use them. I'm not sure. I may be using this hinges from Graphic 45 as well. We'll see. So this will go like so. It doesn't fit in the camera here. Hope you can show it now. <laughs> Slides off. Like so, so I'm going to decorate it. I'm not sure if I will just paint it black or or uh, take some paper on. But the way you create this one, it's um, from this die from Tail Tim Holtz, and it's uh, yeah, you can see the name here. And I put this on the middle. I measured up three inch from both sides from the twelve. Um, chipboard 
and placed it in the middle and in the top like so and threw it uh, through the machine the right way like this. So then I took the left uh, um, cutouts here and just drew placed it like so. It's black so it doesn't show up and then I drew a line to create this form. I also made one with straight so I'm not sure which I'm going to use. And um, yeah, that's that. And uh, for the sides here, uh, I'm going to take some uh, tex texture magic, or you can even use a molding paste just to get it nice over this two sides here, so it won't show up that we have used uh, two chipboards here. So that was the uh, measurements for this box, and uh, uh, yeah, I hope you try to my, uh, make it, and uh, I think it will be real fun when it's uh, decorated. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I wish you all a happy and great day, and have fun creating. Bye bye.